The story goes that the idea for the Walkman comes from Sony's co-founder Masaru Ibuka's wish to listen to his favorite songs on long flights or walking around the city. Thanks to his vision, the company unveiled the first portable music player back in 1979. Until then, entertainment had been a shared activity involving family or community. The release of the Walkman not only transformed the way we listen to music, but also the way we live, as it kicked off an era of individualism that is now the norm of our times. Now, to tell us more about Walkman on its 40th anniversary, Kevin Milburn joins me. He is the senior lecturer of human geography at London South Bank University. So, Kevin, Walkman was named the top music invention of the last 50 years by a leading tech magazine, T3. Do you really think it is so? It's an interesting one, actually, because in terms of the actual product itself, um, it was slightly curious and that it was kind of technically regressive. There was nothing particularly um, astounding or much of a kind of breakthrough in terms of the technology that went into the Walkman. In fact, it was actually a, a step backwards from what Sony had before, which was a, which was a tape recorder. And how it came about was that the president of Sony at the time was wandering around New York, uh, which I think is quite important in itself, a very kind of cinematic city. And he wanted something to, to soundtrack this experience of kind of walking around New York. So he went back to, to, uh, to Tokyo and tasked his engineers with actually getting rid of sort of functions. We're kind of used to new technologies having kind of new functions and kind of multifunctionality and so forth. Uh, but he actually asked his um, engineers to get rid of things like uh, the record button, to get rid of the speaker on the old tape recorder, and to actually just have it as a kind of simple playback machine, uh, principally for music, although people later used it for kind of speech radio and for learning languages and so forth. And I think that's the kind of beauty and the genius, if you like, of the Walkman. We're celebrating Sony's 40-year uh, anniversary, but was it the first company to introduce Walkman? Sony was the first, yeah, but it was soon followed by other companies, particularly sort of Japanese ones, uh, people like sort of Toshiba, sort of Panasonic, Awa, uh, Sanyo, Sanyo, Hitachi, lots of other sort of companies came on board. Uh, and that in itself, again, is important. It kind of highlights that at that time in particular, Japan was very kind of instrumental in terms of uh, audio products in particular. Uh, and um, what the, the Walkman was ultimately replaced by was first the Discman, but then the kind of iPod uh, and ultimately the phone. Uh, and perhaps Japan has not been quite so successful actually sort of developing those kind of products. They've been developed more uh, within the United States uh, and elsewhere. And do you think people predicted that it would come to this level, it would reach this level? I mean, technology turning into an extension of self. Yeah, um, well, I don't think they quite anticipated its success uh, to that extent, but it big, did become a kind of almost you know, go-to item when you're kind of leaving the house. You kind of you know, take your keys, you take your kind of uh, wallet or your purse, and you take your Walkman. Um, and now we kind of think, um, you know, we think nothing of kind of picking up our phone or previously perhaps our phone and an iPod. But this was really the first kind of mobile electronic device uh, that we couldn't leave the house without. So in that, in that sense, it's uh, hugely transformative and a real sort of paradigm shifter. I think. And people say that they're once again on the rise. Do you think we should take it seriously or is it just some sort of a temporary interest coming from a bunch of hipsters really? <laughs> Um, I, I think you're probably correct in, in that assumption. The actual name Walkman never went away. So even when they were Discmans uh, by Sony, they were sort of branded Walkman. And then there was quite Walkman apps. Uh, their MP3 player was called the Walkman. But in terms of actual sort of cassettes, yes, they have come back. Uh, the only place I've really seen them uh, here in London is in places like sort of Peckham, which are uh, sort of, yeah, quite a high proportion of hipsters are moving into that area. So, so yes, it is growing, but it's growing from a, a very low base. So I'm not sure if it will really catch on again. But I think as with vinyl, there is something to be said for a material product, something that we can sort of touch, something that has a sort of tangibility to it, which perhaps uh, we've lost somewhere along the way with first MP3s and then with streams. Well, thank you so much, Kevin Milburn, for joining us on Showcase today.